Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum In today's video we are going to see the topic of accounting reports What we will learn in this video we will see what are the accounting reports I will give you a sample accounting reports income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement and I will show you that how the management are reading the information from these account statements so what is the purpose and uses of accounting reports we will discuss what are the benefits of accounting reports at the end so let's start first of all we need to know what are the accounting reports the first is income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement so let's discuss first the income statement the income statement contains expenses and revenues and it will give us the information of profit and loss either the company is profit or either the company is making loss so i have here a sample picture of income statement abc company income statement as on 31st december 2018 here the upper portion having the revenue cash sales and credit sales and any other revenue you can include here so the upper portion having revenue here the cost of goods sold like direct expenses the direct expenses which are associated with the product that will be recorded in the cost of goods sold and here you will be having a gross profit here after that you will be having operating expenses like salaries advertisement office rent utilities office supplies depreciation other expenses here you will be having total operating expenses after that you will be having an operating profit after operating profit there are operating income interest income and interest expenses so the net income before taxes will be here before taxes mean still needs to deduct the taxes expense so here we will be having the net income for the year 2018 from this statement the management will see the profit and loss of the company interest expense the income tax how much they are paying how much was the operating expense and what are the categories like salaries how much in per year they have paid against salaries office rent how much they paid utilities how much they paid so they will see each and every expense by the category and if the expense is over than their budgeted figure they will consider to reduce this so here the revenues also they will compare with the budgeted figures if the revenues are lower they have to make marketing or make an advertisement to increase the revenues or the sales of the company so these are the decisions companies are making from the income statements and this is the way they are reading this statement let's move ahead with the next next we we are having here the balance sheet the balance sheet contains the assets liquidity of the current assets account receivables accounts payable owners equities let's have a look on the sample balance sheet here we have abc company balance sheet as on 31st december 2018 here we have current assets we have long term or the fixed assets we have current liabilities long term liabilities and owners equities how the companies are reading this balance sheet actually this is the standing position of the business like the current assets they are looking at the liquid assets liquid assets are the current assets which are easily convertible to the cash like cash account receivables prepaid rent and inventories inventories can be sell very easily and uh, in a fast time so if you are if you see here here are the current liabilities if the current assets minus current liabilities so that will be the company's working capital like the operating capital like if the current assets are higher than the current liabilities then it means the company's position is good in terms of cash in terms of liquidity in terms of working capital here they will be having the long term assets long terms are the fixed assets which are used in the company's operation to generate profit so they there will be having like if you have 98000 in the assets so the company can if company is going to sell these assets so minimum they will get around 90 or 70000 so this is also showing the company's position if they are going to sell the assets 
so here you will be having long term liabilities are the loans taken from the banks or the governments for the long uh, term period like more than one year so these are also the company's liabilities showing that how much company owes for the external stakeholders for the suppliers for the banks for the governments any liability or the obligation companies has to meet in the coming years so here owners equity contains the retained earnings retained earning are the accumulated profit of all the years or the losses if there are every year profit and the company's owners they are not taking out that profit so it will be retained earning it will every year it will accumulate like it will increase common stock these are the stocks or the shares of the companies and here total owners equity here should be the capitals also the current account of the owners also here so they can see how much investment they made and how much drawings they have made so this is the complete picture of the balance sheet that how the management is looking at the balance sheet and getting the information the next cash flow statement which is having operating area investing area and financing area let's have a look on the sample here we have a cash flow statement so abc company cash flow statement at 31st december 2018 net income of the year and here plus or minus non uh, non cash items like depreciation is non cash items it is deducted from the assets value every year here less changes in working capital like current assets minus current liabilities like how much was the account receivables in the last year and now the what are the current positions of the account receivable either our accounts payable increase or decrease so changes in working capital this is positive so they make it less so the cash is going out of the business it means that the companies has owned new assets in the business like the account receivable increased here investing cash flow it comes from the assets like if the company is acquiring new assets like investment in property and equipment they purchase new assets so it means the cash goes out of the business for the assets so it means it has to be minus from the cash flow the main theme of this cash flow is the operating cash flow if the operating cash flow is positive then the company is going to be in the good direction after that the investing cash flow this is the investment in assets and financing cash flow this is the issuing of debt issuing of shares and the owners are contributing in the business so at the end there will be net cash flow the remaining balance cash flow in the business that this much cash the business having so this is the complete out overview of the cash flow statement guys so let's move further and see what is the purpose or uses of accounting reports now the accounting reports for the stakeholder like credit decisions for the payables for the receivables if we are going to buy material on account the supplier our supplier will be needed our financial statement and they want to see the financial position that how much current assets we have and how much liabilities we have our working capital is positive or not so at that stage they will see our liquidity and then they will decide to issue us a credit same as receivables when we are going to uh, give credit to our client we are also looking at their income statement and balance sheet we need also to see the positions of their business so here it is also the marking reports also used for marketing decisions costing decisions forecasting budgeted decision that on the previous behavior of the business and to create the new budgets for the business we need income statement and the balance sheets here investment decision investor decision making will see the company's position when they are buying the shares of the company they have to see uh, what are our liabilities and what are our the assets of the company what is the working capital either we they will get dividends on their shares or not after that the tax decision on the income statement we will be having the tax if the company is making income the government is concerned about our income and they will charge tax on that 
now let's move further and what are the benefits of accounting reports the benefits of accounting reports because it improves the decision making of the companies about their operations their investment decisions their budgeting their future planning for the sales and expenses and revenues and lower the expenses if they are going to see the expenses in the previous year was lower and the current year is higher so they will see why these expenses are higher increase profitability if the profit margin is lower then the company is thinking to increase the profit margin in the coming year also the creditors and debtors control like how much is the money payable and receivable from the customers so guys this is the complete overview of accounting reports their benefits how the statements can be read i hope you understand the concept please subscribe my channel as it keeps motivated me to create more videos for you thank you very much and goodbye